What do you call a small mother? A minimum. Today, I'm going to recap a 2015 action thriller film called Close Range. The movie begins with the story of a fugitive ex-military man named Colton McCready, who enters a drug cartel headquarters in Sorona, Mexico. He is there to save his niece, Haley Reynolds, who was kidnapped by Fernando L. Jefe Garcia, the leader of the drug cartel. The place is guarded by Victor Garcia, who is Garcia's nephew and confidant. Although Victor's men numbered a lot, it did not make Colton flinch. Bravely, Colton attacked Victor's men one by one, until finally he came face to face with Victor and exposed his niece's face. At first, Victor was reluctant to tell where Haley was being held. However, Victor gave up after Colton beat him mercilessly. Victor then led Colton to the front of the room where Haley was being held. Victor was trying to buy time when Colton told him to open the door. Annoyed, Colton took the key hanging from Victor's neck. However, Colton found a flash drive also hanging on the necklace. The flash drive turned out to contain confidential data on suppliers and the location of the cartel's trading money. Colton certainly didn't know that. After the door was successfully opened, he then killed Victor and the two guards in the room. Then Colton untied Haley's handcuffs and took her home. On the way, Haley asked Colton why Victor kidnapped her. Colton asked Haley to ask her stepfather, Walt Reynolds, directly. After Colton's attack on the drug cartel headquarters, Garcia arrives accompanied by Cruz to check on the situation and find out why his nephew was killed. Garcia gets information from one of Victor's men that the reason Victor kidnapped Haley was because Walt Reynolds had stolen Victor's package. Walt then returned the package, but Victor remained reluctant to let Haley go. After hearing this explanation, Garcia ordered one of his men to kill Victor's men. Garcia is annoyed that Victor's men fled when Colton came to attack his base. Haley and Colton finally made it home. Angela, Haley's mother, immediately greeted Haley and thanked Colton. Angela was very grateful that her daughter was still alive. Back at the drug cartel headquarters, Garcia is seen calling Sheriff Jasper Calloway, a corrupt cop who has been clearing all his crimes in the drug trade. Garcia asked Jasper to arrest Walt and Colton. Garcia also sent a photo of Colton, which was caught on CCTV when he attacked his headquarters. When he sees the photo, Jasper recognizes Colton's face and tells Garcia that Colton is a long-lost soldier. Meanwhile at home, Angela and Haley are getting ready to pack up to leave town for good. However, Walt was furious with Angela, who had told Colton to save Haley. Later, Walt asked Angela and Haley to come with him. However, Colton rejected the idea because it was too dangerous. Colton and Angela get into an argument because Colton doesn't like Walt's temper. However, Angela defends herself by saying that she was forced to marry Walt to save their family land. What's more, Haley's father had left a huge debt behind, while Colton had disappeared without a word. After that, Colton saw a police car from a distance. Angela asked Colton to hide in the house, while he will confront Jasper. However, Jasper, who came with several of his men, immediately arrested Walt on charges of ordering Colton to kill Victor and his men. After that, Jasper interrogates Angela regarding Colton's current whereabouts because he will arrest Colton on murder charges. Angela lied by saying she didn't know where Colton was. However, Walt suddenly screams and tells Jasper that Colton is hiding in the house. Jasper grabbed the loudspeaker connected to his car and started warning Colton to get out immediately. However, Colton did not come out. Jasper then ordered two of his men to enter Angela's house. With a ready attitude while pointing a gun, Jasper's two men stepped into the house. With ease, Colton incapacitated them. He then left the house, pointing a gun. When Jasper was ready to shoot Colton, Angela suddenly pushed Jasper from behind so that the gun fired upwards. Colton didn't waste the opportunity. He then fled in a car. Jasper orders his men to chase Colton, while he himself restrains Angela for trying to protect Colton. The chase between Colton and Jasper's men lasted for a while, before Jasper's men managed to approach Colton's car and shoot one of its tires. A collision ensued between a police car and Colton's car. When the police came down and was about to arrest him, it turned out that Colton was not in his car. 
he managed to run into the bushes around the place. The two policemen chased after him again. Meanwhile, at Angela's house, Garcia and his men had arrived there. Garcia comes to find Colton and ask him to return the flash drive he has stolen. Jasper greeted Garcia and informed him that Colton had run away. Hearing this, Garcia ordered his men to join hunting Colton. When Walt saw Garcia, he tried to lick him. Walt apologized for the incident which he said was simply a misunderstanding. However, Garcia will only forgive Walt if he can provide information on where the stolen flash drive is. Walt, of course, knew nothing about the flash drive Garcia was talking about. Garcia then responded by shooting Walt. Haley wept seeing Walt killed in front of her eyes, but she still didn't divulge the whereabouts of the flash drive. Meanwhile, in another place, two of Jasper's police officers managed to find out where Colton was hiding in the forest. However, as they approached him, Colton managed to knock out one cop. At this moment, Garcia's men came and immediately fired their weapons. Instead of hitting Colton, their bullets killed one of the cops. The situation is getting hotter. Then, Cruz, who led the attack, claims that they came just to ask Colton to return the flash drive he stole. However, Colton refused to hand it over, and another shootout ensued, killing the second remaining cop. Colton managed to slip through the trees and approach Cruz. Then he fires a gun at Cruz. Unfortunately, his shot missed, and they fought one-on-one. -on -one. Finally, Colton was able to overthrow Cruz and took his gun, then left Cruz's body in the middle of the forest. After waiting for a long time, Garcia ordered the other two of his men to follow Cruz. He also asked Jasper about Colton's profile. Jasper then explained that Colton was a soldier with a lot of achievements, who was imprisoned after getting into trouble with his corrupt boss. However, Colton escaped from prison, and now he is still a fugitive from the police. Jasper assures Garcia that Colton will show up soon enough to save Angela and Haley. Therefore, Garcia had nothing to worry about. Two of Garcia's men managed to find Colton who was walking in a field. They then accelerated their vehicle to hit Colton. Shooting ensued. When Colton was nearly hit by a car driven by Garcia's men, Colton managed to jump on top of the car and roll back to the ground. Next, Colton blocked the car and shot it. Colton's reckless action was retaliated with another shot. Colton, who was a former soldier, turned out to be very proficient in using a gun. The shot can hit the target. One of Garcia's men had a gunshot wound to his hand. Then, Colton, who had previously jumped to avoid being hit, had now crouched on the hood of the car in front of Garcia's two men. Colton was curious about the flash drive that Garcia asked for and asked them about its contents. As it turned out, the flash drive contained a list of names and phone numbers of drug dealers, including data on Garcia's account numbers and cash storage locations. After receiving this information, Colton shoots two of Garcia's men. Colton returns home to save Angela and Haley. While waiting at Angela's house, Jasper reveals to Garcia that he has been doing his job to help Garcia cover up his crimes. And now he wants to resign. He no longer wanted to be involved in the affairs of the crimes committed by Garcia. Garcia was so angry at Jasper's request, he didn't say anything except to ask how Jasper's daughter was. This was a veiled threat that Garcia gave Jasper for wanting to leave him. Through the question, Garcia indirectly threatened that he would harm his daughter if Jasper dared to leave Garcia. Jasper then canceled his intention to resign and left feeling annoyed. Colton arrives at Angela's house and sneaks in there. One of Garcia's men can be disabled. However, Colton's actions were quickly noticed by Garcia, who immediately took Angela and Haley as hostages. Garcia forces Colton to turn himself in immediately and return the flash drive he stole. Seeing this, Colton immediately came out of hiding and threw away his weapon. Then he walked over to the house's porch where Angela and Haley were being held hostage. Garcia's men began to approach and pointed weapons at Colton. Colton stood alert while looking for an opening to attack. Luckily, he noticed that one of Garcia's men was slightly off guard. Quickly, he grabbed the gun that the man was holding and shot the enemy standing nearby. Simultaneously, he fired his gun straight at the man who was pointing his gun at Angela and Haley. Then, there was a pretty fierce gunfight. 
Luckily, Colton was able to take Angela and Haley to hide. Colton, Angela, and Haley are now inside, while Garcia and his men are outside. They kept shooting at each other. Angela also took the weapon that's stored in her house and shot Garcia's men. Inside the house, Haley took the initiative to contact the state police. However, unfortunately, the police in that state contacted Jasper because their territory was under Jasper's authority. The situation is heating up. One of Garcia's men manages to break into the house and attack Colton. During the battle, the bullets fired by Garcia's men pierced the upper floors. As a result of the shot, Angela's arm was injured because she was hiding upstairs. Meanwhile, Colton's position was getting squeezed as his enemies began to approach the door and prepare to enter the house. He was forced to go upstairs while firing his gun. Arriving at the room where Angela and Haley were hiding, Colton asked them both to come down through the bedroom window. After Angela and Haley came out of the window, Colton opened fire on his enemies. Downstairs, Angela and Haley entered the garage and removed the cover of the motorcycle. Just as they were about to flee on the motorbike, Garcia appeared with his gun. They were told to get out of the garage. As he was about to shoot the two women, Garcia suddenly fell to the ground as Jasper shot him from a distance. Jasper kills Garcia because he doesn't like it when people threaten his daughter. Back to the house where Colton is still involved in a fight with some of Garcia's men. Although beaten, Colton can overthrow the enemies who attack him. Meanwhile, near the garage, Jasper, who had just killed Garcia, didn't want to be blamed for his actions. So he intended to handcuff Angela and Haley. However, the action was thwarted by Colton. From a distance, Colton shot Jasper. However, because at that time, Jasper was wearing a bulletproof vest, he still survived and got back up again. Then Colton gave Jasper the choice of taking handcuffs or a rifle. If Jasper chose the handcuffs, he would be imprisoned for the crimes he had committed. Unfortunately, Jasper's hand actually took the rifle that was nearby. Before Jasper could fire his gun, Colton had shot him first. Jasper died on the spot. After the incident, Colton also handed over the flash drive evidence to Angela to be handed over to the police. From a distance, a police car can be seen heading towards Angela's house. Finally, Colton chose to leave and left Angela and Haley because his status was still a fugitive. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.